If you're running a Facebook business page, an Instagram business account, a website, a YouTube channel, or whatever else to promote your business online, you must have realized by now that creating quality images is one of the most challenging parts of your operation. Taking pictures, editing them so they fit the right format for the right platform, and repeating the process for all your accounts is very time consuming and the results can often be disappointing. That's why in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create professional looking images for all your digital assets in minutes without using any fancy image editing software, without buying photos from an image stock, and even without having to take your own pictures. You don't even need a computer, you can do it from your phone. It's that simple. At the end of this video, you will be able to produce professional looking images fast and for free so you can attract more visitors and turn them into customers. I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I help small business owners like you with their marketing efforts for better online visibility, step by step and click by click. If you are new to my channel, why don't you subscribe today and click the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up as it will be very helpful for me to grow my channel. For this tutorial, we are going to use two free tools. The first one is Pixabay.com. Pixabay is a stock photography website that has over 1.6 million royalty-free stock photos and videos you can download from. All images are completely free of copyrights and can be used in any country, on any platform, and for any purpose, business or leisure, as stated in Pixabay's terms and conditions. All images and videos on Pixabay are released under the Creative Commons CC0, which means you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permissions. You don't even need to create an account or sign up to use Pixabay. The second tool I will be using today is Canva.com. Canva is a graphic design tool website. The combination of drag and drop technology with predefined templates makes designing graphics amazingly simple, even if you're not a designer. Canva is a free tool, but some of their images or templates are not. So be careful when choosing one and make sure it is marked as free. So to demonstrate how all of this works together, I'm going to go through a scenario which is something that you're likely to come across yourself. I have just created a new page on my bakery for you website to show my latest croissant baking technique. So the page is ready, I've written the copy, obviously this is dummy copy, but what I need is a very nice picture that sits right at the top to bring it to life. I also want to promote my new web page through a Facebook post on my Facebook business page and also via a YouTube video for which I will need to design a thumbnail. To do this, I need a good image that I will be able to use across all channels so it is consistent with my web page. Let's go to pixabay.com and search for croissant. The results on the top row come from Shutterstock, which is a paying service, so ignore them and skip to the results below that. There are actually 412 results to choose from, which is very decent. However, you will notice that some of the pictures are not as relevant as I want them to be, but nevertheless, I think there's still a wide selection to choose from. So if you slowly scroll down, you can see there's plenty of choices. However, I've just noticed this one on the top right hand side, which looks very decent indeed. To download the picture, just click on it. It will open in a new window from which you have the option to download the picture. Right below the free download button, you can see a reminder that this picture is totally free to use. Click on the free download button and choose the size you feel is most appropriate for what you are trying to do. I generally go for a fairly big size as it gives me more options. Click the download button and tick the box, I'm not a robot, to start the download process. Once your picture is downloaded, save it somewhere where you can easily find it. So I now have my croissant picture for my web page, but I want to do a little bit more about it. I think just a plain image will not cut it. So to change it, let's head over to canva.com. Before you can start using Canva, you will first need to select what type of activity you do. In this instance, I'm going to select a small business and then you will need to choose an option to sign up either via Google or via email. I'm just going to choose signing up with Google and pick the actual account I want to sign up with. You will be going through a number of screens during the sign up process. Skip all of them 
until you get to the main interface. There are multiple ways to start creating a design. You can either search for a predefined template using the search box such as Facebook posts. You can use the predefined template under the search box or alternatively, you can also specify the custom dimension of your design by clicking on the top right hand side button that says custom dimensions. Since I want to create an image for my web page using specific dimension, this is the option I will be using. I just need to specify the dimension of my image, which I know are 780 pixel wide and 435 pixels high. Don't forget to choose pixels and then click on the create new design option. This will open a new window where I can start designing my image to the exact dimensions I've just specified and you're ready to go. On the left hand side, there is a selection of templates to choose from. You can scroll all the way down and it keeps on refreshing. Just select the one that you think is suitable and click on it to drag it into the Canva. Each element of this graphic can be modified separately. All you need to do is click on it to highlight it. Once you've clicked on an element you want to modify, a list of appropriate option will appear so you can modify that very element. So let's say I want to change the text here. I just need to click on it. Then a new menu appears that allows me to change the properties of that text. Then I can change the font size, the color, the font type, etc. To change the color of the box element here, again, just click on it. And on the top left of the Canva, you can see the color that's selected. Click on it and you can change it to a pre-selected one or you can add your own by clicking on the plus button and change the X code of the color to your brand. I recommend you do this so at least it's consistent with your imagery on your website and everywhere else. And now for the picture. In the left hand side menu, click on the upload options, then click on the upload an image button. Go and fetch the image where you saved it on your desktop, select it and click open. This will start the process of loading the image as part of your library. Time to now bring our main image to the main canvas to replace the existing one that is loaded by default on the template. To do that, double click on the existing image and then press the delete button on your keyboard. Then drag your image from the left hand side onto the canvas. Okay, you can reposition that image by simply dragging and dropping and resize it by using the handle on the corner of the image. Once you've done that, just click again and bang. There you go. You already have the background to the right size of the image dimensions you've specified. And this is when Canva becomes a real photo editor. You can now add filter to your image. So let's select something like that, which looks pretty good. You can also adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, etc. There are plenty of options to choose from. And if you feel like you've made a mistake, you can just undo the last command by clicking on a back arrow right at the top of your screen here. So I've finished updating my graphics with the right colors, the right font and everything that I wanted. All I now need to do is to save it on my computer so I can then load it on my website. To do this on the top right hand corner, just click on the arrow button and then choose a file type that you want to save your picture in. In this instance, we have the option between PNG, JPEG, PDF, etc. If you are saving an image for your website, choose the JPEG option as it will compress the image automatically. If you were to publish something on a social media platform, for instance, choose a PNG option as it will be of better quality. In this instance, I'm just gonna choose my JPEG option and then click on the download button. Canva will now process the download and all you need to do is save it somewhere on your computer as usual. Okay, my page is now ready with my image. I must say it looks pretty good and very inviting indeed. It's now time to create an image for my Facebook post to promote my web page. Let's go back to Canva. This time I'm going to use a predefined template specifically designed for Facebook posts. There is no need to specify any dimension as it will be done for you. Simply search for Facebook posts in the search box. It will open a new window and you can start creating your design. 
we're going to follow the exact same principle and choose a template from the left hand side you can choose the same template we've used previously or you can choose another one and this time instead of scrolling through the various choices i'm going to search for something completely specific in the search box and i'm going to type baking and see whether or not there's a template that will be quite suited to what i'm trying to do uh, and straight off the bat i can see this one that would work great um, so we're going to follow the exact same process and make all the modifications that we need to do including changing the pictures modifying the fonts the size uh, and adapting the same exact colors so it remains consistent with our website. I'm really speeding up through the process here because we've already covered that in the first part of this tutorial when we designed our first graphics. Once you're happy with the graphics that you've designed, you can either download your image on your PC or load it directly on your Facebook business page so you can save even more time. To do this, make sure you're logged into your Facebook account and then click on the publish button right at the top on the right hand side corner and then select the Facebook page option. If you don't see your page there, just click the choose another page and then it should show up. In this instance, I can see the bakery for you page. I'm going to select that and write my copy, not forgetting to add the web address where I want people to go to and then click on publish. You will see Canva processing your design and it should automatically be published on your Facebook business page. You can check it by clicking on the link that's on the pop-up box. And as you can see, it's right there. If I now click on that link, it takes me to my web page, wonderful. Let's do a final example, this time designing a YouTube thumbnail for my video. I'm just gonna go through this to show you that Canva pretty much covers every format out there. So there it is, YouTube thumbnail. Once again, it's gonna open a new window and I will be able to start my design so it fits the right size. I'm not gonna go through this process because we've already covered it twice, but this is what I've come up with. And this is what it looks like on the YouTube channel. As I said at the beginning of this video, you can do everything that I have explained using a mobile device, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, a phone. Uh, just download the Canva app, go to the canva.com slash app, and it will text you the link. Uh, and then you can also download any images from Pixabay on your mobile device, so you can create your graphics on the fly. We're done for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button. For any comments or questions, post them right below the video and I will respond to them. Hope to see you soon. Happy marketing.